Hi everyone. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a complex emotion, and that's obsessional jealousy. Now, unlike the fleeting pangs of insecurity that we'll all experience from time to time, obsessional jealousy is like a persistent gremlin that's fueled by intrusive thoughts and compulsive behaviors, and it can wreak havoc on relationships and a person's well-being. So, to explain this, I want you to imagine a couple, David and Sarah. And uh, imagine that David is constantly bombarded by thoughts that Sarah is going to betray him. Every friendly interaction that she has with someone else becomes a potential threat, triggering uh, David to obsessively check her phone and social media. And this understandably bothers Sarah, who may become resentful and pull away from David, creating almost like a self-fulfilling prophecy. David's jealousy causes Sarah to withdraw from him, likely leading to even more anxiety and jealousy on David's part. This, this goes beyond possessiveness. It's like a relentless mental battle that's fueled by anxiety, often rooted in past experiences or distorted beliefs. Now, while intrusive thoughts and compulsive behaviors characterize obsessive jealousy, understanding the why behind them is key to understanding some of the complexities of obsessive jealousy. Now, there are a lot of factors that can contribute to why a person develops obsessive jealousy. And the first is past experiences. So unfaithful partners, betrayals, or witnessing infidelity in childhood can leave deep emotional scars on a person. These experiences can fuel anxiety and distorted beliefs about relationships, making the person hypervigilant for signs of betrayal, even in healthy relationships. Um, attachment styles can also play a role here. How we connect with others is shaped by our early childhood. If you have an anxious attachment style, you might have a deep fear of abandonment, and this can lead to possessiveness and jealousy. Uh, low self-esteem, feeling inadequate or insecure about yourself can trigger the fear that a partner will find someone better than you. And this insecurity fuels obsessive comparisons and anxieties about maintaining the relationship and this can lead to controlling behaviors and jealousy. Now, certain personality traits might predispose individuals to obsessional jealousy. Things like perfectionism, neuroticism, and obsessive compulsive personality disorder can contribute to intrusive thoughts, rumination, and difficulty managing anxiety, potentially manifesting as this obsessive jealousy. Uh, there are mental health conditions that can play a role here. Obsession, obsessional jealousy can sometimes be a symptom of underlying health conditions like anxiety disorders, depression, or OCD. In these cases, addressing the underlying condition can be crucial for managing the jealousy effectively. And finally, there's social media. And I want you to imagine this. You scroll through perfectly curated Instagram feeds, seeing couples posting pictures in exotic locations, friends celebrating uh, relationship milestones, and everyone seemingly living their best lives. Now imagine that you struggle with jealousy. This carefully crafted online reality from others can become a breeding ground for insecurity and anxiety. Seeing other people's seemingly perfect lives can trigger feelings of inadequacy and fear of missing out. You might compare your relationship the way it is to those online portrayals, fueling anxiety about your own relationship's perceived shortcomings. Uh, or things like a, a harmless like on your partner's friend's photo can morph into a sign of potential infidelity in your, in your mind and in the relationship. 
You can misinterpret online interactions, and this can fuel suspicion and anxiety, leading to compulsive checking of the person's phone or social media, and this can contribute to those intrusive thoughts of jealousy. You can think of social media often showcasing the highlight reel and not the everyday struggles that people deal with. And this curated perfection can exacerbate existing feelings of insecurity about your appearance, your accomplishments, your worth as a partner, uh, the nature of your relationship. And these can all contribute to obsessional jealousy. Now, it's important to point out that these are just potential contributing factors and the specific causes of obsessional jealousy can vary greatly from person to person. And so you might be wondering, okay, I, I get where it might come from, but why is this such a big problem? Why is obsessional jealousy such a difficult thing? Well, the answer is pretty simple. Jealousy poisons relationships. Constant accusations, possessiveness, and controlling behaviors create a toxic environment in the relationship. So if we go back to David and Sarah, David's accusations push Sarah away, and this, can, this creates friction and resentment, jeopardizing the very connection that David fears losing. But the impact goes beyond relationships. Imagine David constantly consumed by intrusive thoughts uh, about jealousy, and this may result in work performance suffering, and his own social life shrinking. The emotional turmoil spills over into every aspect of life, and this can create a significant burden on well-being. So, obsessional jealousy can be a big problem, and the question then becomes, well, how do we untangle this? How do you manage obsessive jealousy? What can a person do about it? Well, the first step is awareness. Um, are intrusive thoughts, excessive checking, and emotional turmoil about your partner's loyalty, are these things dominating your life? And if so, that's probably a good indication of obsessional jealousy. And once you recognize it, the key is to challenge some of the jealousy thoughts and to do some exposure therapy. And when challenging distorted beliefs, you want to ask yourself, what is the evidence that fuels your fears? Are they based on reality or distorted interpretations? David may want to think about alternative explanations for Sarah's interactions and dismantling the distorted thoughts that feed his anxiety. This is called cognitive restructuring, and cognitive restructuring delves into the core of obsessive jealousy. And these are the distorted thinking patterns. Imagine David immediately interpreting a friendly chat that Sarah's having with someone else as flirting. And he views this as a threat to his relationship with Sarah. What cognitive restructuring can do is it can help him challenge these unhelpful thoughts. The idea is to examine the evidence that supports the obsessive fears. Is there proof of actual infidelity? And oftentimes, there isn't. So by exploring alternative explanations, like this is just a friendly collegial interaction, David can learn to reframe the situation as harmless, reducing his anxiety. And this is where then exposure therapy can come in. This can uh, exposure therapy can take David's new understanding of Sarah's behavior to real-life situations. Instead of avoiding anxiety by trying to control Sarah's social life, David can engage in, in exposure therapy to gradually face uncomfortable scenarios. He uh, may agree to let Sarah go out with friends without checking her phone. He might stop calling to check in on where she is. He could stop asking her who she went out with and what they did. 
this gradual exposure allows him to experience his anxiety about infidelity in a safe and controlled environment. He learns coping mechanisms to manage these feelings without resorting to compulsive behaviors like checking or accusations of Sarah. The key is, by repeatedly facing these situations without the proof that he is seeking, David's fear starts to weaken. He realizes that just because he's feeling anxiety, that doesn't equal confirmation of infidelity. Over time, his distorted thoughts lose their power, and they're replaced by more realistic and less anxiety-provoking interpretations. Now, it's also important to point out, obsessional jealousy isn't a solo, in, is, isn't a solo issue. Communication is vital. David can openly express his anxieties to Sarah, focused on his feelings rather than accusing her of doing anything wrong. And Sarah, in turn, can help David by understanding and communicating effectively, establishing trust and healthy boundaries in the relationship. You see, living with obsessional jealousy is challenging, but it's not an insurmountable thing. By understanding its roots and implementing techniques like cognitive restructuring and exposure, you can break free from its grip and reclaim your emotional well-being and a satisfying relationship. If you're interested in learning more ways of identifying and challenging negative thinking patterns that can fuel things like anxiety and depression, I'd encourage you to check out this video. So that's all for today's video. As always, thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video, and I will see you in the next one.